Let's talk documentary filmmaking. A little while back, I had the opportunity to work with some high school students who were studying documentary film. And I asked them a little bit about what, the, what they were working on currently. And uh, time and time again, there were certain issues that came up among the students, one of which was, how do we develop interesting documentary stories? And so when I spoke to them um, about things that they were doing in their class, um, a set of students spoke up and they said that they were currently working on uh, a documentary about a hardware store. So I said, okay, let's use that as an example. So how can we take an example of a new hardware store and make that into a compelling documentary? Well, if you're working in documentary film, you always need to be asking questions. You want to ask yourself, you know, what's the hook of this story? Uh, why are people going to be interested in watching this film? You know, when you think of that hook, that's what is really going to bring the viewer in and want to keep watching your film. You want to look also at um, you know what makes this store unique. You know, a hardware store um, as a topic could be a, a good documentary, but how many hardware stores are there that are out there? So, what is it that's unique about this particular hardware store? This particular story. You might look at you know a David and Goliath type angle to this story. Is this particular hardware store you know up against some? big box uh, retail store and maybe it's being threatened. You know, we've seen stories like this, you know, over and over again in both narrative and non-narrative film um, where there is, a, you know, a small business is being threatened by a larger chain and this independent business is, um, you know, being, might be forced out if they don't do something drastic to pivot and innovate. So that's one angle. Um, let's think about uh, bigger societal issues that could be at play for something like this hardware store. You know, is it located in a place that's seen um, several uh, years of gentrification and perhaps, you know, the, the neighborhood has changed and it's completely different than what it, what it once was? Um, what does that mean for the people that run the hardware store? What does that mean for the community in which the store is in? So there might be, you know, what you might have is the start of something like a hardware store and the people that are there that run it and the customers that come in and out. But then as you start to expand from that, that central focus point, you can start to get into some bigger issues that affect not only uh, this hardware store, but affect communities and people at large, uh, which I think is very interesting when you have a story that, that begins small like that, but then expands into something greater. And you see that, that where you started is only a, a small part of a greater whole. So that, that could be something very interesting as you're trying to develop your documentary. You might also look at the people that are running the store. You know, sometimes you might think that you have a good story about a particular place, like a hardware store, but really what draws people in are the characters. Is this a family that, that goes back generations. You know, what, what is their backstory? Uh, maybe you could find something interesting there about the people that run the store, um, their, their issues, their backstories, the history. There might be some, something rich there that you could explore. The location of this hardware store, is it, does it have some sort of historical significance? You know, we've seen documentaries where there are historical places that are threatened in some way by, you know, people that want to, to move on from the past, you know, to tear it down, to make room for something else. Um, and there's, there's a preservation angle uh, to that whole story. So look at where the, uh, where the store sits. Maybe that location itself could be something that's, that, that's significant. Let, let's say you're talking about the opening of this hardware store. Were, were there any setbacks that the that the owners encountered? You know, zoning issues or money problems, things that they really had to overcome and fight for. You know, we love stories of people that are trying to to make it in this world and really do something and and uh, make a change and make an impact. So, as we follow that that struggle, we're we're more engaged, we're more interested. We we want to cheer for this for this subject and see them uh, meet their goal. Remember, that's a, that's a big question you need to ask yourself with any documentary film is, you know, where is the conflict? Where, where are the characters really going to get into trouble? What sort of things that, do they have to overcome to reach their goals? That you're trying to get your characters to a goal 
but you have to document and show the struggle because then the destination is, is that much more rewarding for not only the subject, but for the viewer too, to see once they've reached their goal, to go back and reflect on that struggle that they went through and, and what it means now that they've reached their goal. So remember, if you're trying to find a great subject for your next documentary film, just always be asking questions and really talk to people and listen to people and let them share their stories with you. And remember, always be asking yourself, what's the hook? Why are people watching? Where is the conflict? How can I show this character struggling to reach a goal? What makes this story unique? Why is it compelling? Why does it need to be told? And, and why should people be watching? And the more you do that, and the more you observe the world around you and listen and talk to others and ask those questions, the more you'll find that there are interesting stories everywhere that really do need to be told. So if you have any other suggestions uh, on how to really develop a good, strong documentary film story, please leave them in the comments section. As always, I would love to hear from you. You can connect with me on my website at clinttill.net and be sure to click subscribe so you know exactly when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.